Hi everyone, I hope you are all well. Today I'm gonna to be doing a random lifestyle, beauty, fashion, kind of everything favorites, a seasonal favorites. You guys said you wanted a few of these like scattered throughout the year, so that is what I'm gonna do. I have tried my best to make myself presentable for this video. Seriously, anyone who's not from the UK watching this, please just like, please know that here in the UK, we are all very hairy, we have overgrown eyebrows, we have grey hairs, we have hair that needs a haircut, our skin, our everything. We haven't been able to get to any sort of salon for quite a while so <laughs> I've tried but I just feel so gross at the moment like I just don't feel like I'm in my best shape but I'm just gonna keep going with it for now. So as I said the list is pretty random and I'm just gonna show you lots of stuff that I've been loving. I'm not gonna talk you through all of my TV favorites because I think there's nothing more boring than hearing someone try and describe a TV show but just do it really badly. So instead I'm gonna list down below in the description box so much stuff that you guys can watch, things that I've been watching over the past like six months. So I'll list things on Netflix, on terrestrial TV, on Amazon Prime. We watch a lot of TV, so I've got lots of recommendations. Let me just check my list. I don't have any makeup favorites. I was gonna go over to my makeup desk, but actually I've just been using the same makeup again and again. I just repurchased the Armani Neo Nude Foundation because it's that good. I totally finished a tube, so other than that, I'm pretty sure you've heard me talk about all the same makeup stuff, but let me know if you guys have any good makeup recommendations, actually. I'm in the market for a new mascara. Please let me know if you have a good recommendations. I like the big fluffy brushes. Right, let's head into the bathroom because I actually have quite a lot of skincare stuff to talk you through. Okay, it's super sunny in the bathroom and quite echoey as well, but I'm going to talk you through some favourite body, hair and skincare products as well, starting with this from Clarins. This is their tonic treatment oil. It actually looks like I've hardly used any because you don't need that much at all, but I've been trying to spend kind of one Sunday a month really looking after the skin on my body. So after I shower and shave and exfoliate and do all of that good stuff, I will just put on some of this body oil and it's so luxurious. The scent literally smells like a spa. Oh my God, it's so good. It just smells like, yeah, it just smells like a spa. That's exactly how I would describe it. Makes my skin really super soft and just like nourished and hydrated. Skincare wise, I showed this product in a recent vlog, so I haven't been using it for that long, but I know already that I absolutely love it and would definitely repurchase it. It's from CeraVe, which is a brand I really love. They just do very gentle, easy, calming skincare. This is their Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So as I said in the vlog, it's a hyaluronic acid serum, but it comes out like a cream, almost like it's not as thick as a moisturizer, but it's not like gloopy like a serum. So this is absolutely perfect if you're looking for something to hydrate your skin. If you wanna try a hyaluronic acid serum, I'm really, really enjoying this one. And I'm also loving the Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. I use this mainly in the evenings or on days where I'm not going outside and I don't need SPF. Sorry, there's literally someone like mowing their grass or something outside. It's a very hydrating kind of jelly-like gel consistency moisturizer feels very refreshing on the skin and I would highly recommend it. Clinique is really great for sensitive skin types, so I've really been enjoying that. Hair-wise, I told you guys I've been using lots of products to try and improve the quality of my hair, the condition of my hair. One of those is the Philip Kingsley Elasta Styler and this says it's a five-in-one treatment. It's a multitasker for all hair, but I really enjoy using this on my dry hair to keep it hydrated every day. So instead of just using products in the shower or after the shower on damp hair, this is something I can use every morning just to add a bit of hydration and moisture into my hair. Even once it's styled, if I put waves into my hair, I can then do a couple of pumps of this and just run it through my hair, and it just adds like a, a lot of hydration to my hair. It actually recommends using it on towel dried hair, but I've been using it on dry hair and it works really well for me. The other product which has just been absolutely life changing is the Olaplex number no. three. So this is like a little at home treatment. Ola Olaplex, is it Olaplex or Olaplex? It's something you can get done in salons, but this is the little at home treatment that you can use. So I'll shampoo, condition my hair, and then I'll put this on and leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it out. and. I can't even explain the difference you can feel in your hair straight away. If you feel like your hair is quite brittle or coarse, it literally like bonds the hair together. So you can immediately feel how smooth and silky it is. And 
my hair looks totally different after I've dried it when I use this compared to when I don't. So this is absolutely amazing and definitely worth trying. Okay, I'm downstairs in the lounge and I thought I would show you some nice little homey bits down here that I've been enjoying. The first one is right behind me here and it's from my friend Alex who runs The Frugality on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram handle down below. She did a collaboration with Frances Costello, who I kind of knew a bit from like childhood. She went to school with a friend of mine and I was like, oh, that's so nice that they're doing this collaboration. I've really been enjoying supporting friends on all of their different like ventures over the past year. There's been some really cool stuff that people have been doing. And I always like to make an order, especially if it's something that I'm like interested in. They did a collaboration on designing a matchbox. Alex is like obsessed with matches, she always has been. I just think it's so cool, something really different that I haven't really seen anyone else do. And it may sound weird to like spend money and buy a matchbox full of matches, but I think if it's something kind of statement and pretty and beautiful, something that you can display and you can keep and you can just keep refilling, it's like a refillable matchbox. And I think it's great. I use matches all the time to light my candles. And anyway, it looks like this. So they work together to create this like shell design, which I just think is so nice. And yeah, it's like quite a big matchbox as you can see. It has matches inside. Actually, the matches are like green, which is really nice. I haven't really used any of them because I've got cheap matches that I want to use first, but it just looks really nice here next to the vase and candle. And I just think that's a really cool collaboration. Grey was bought this for her birthday, I think, or maybe Christmas from a friend of ours. It's from Kidly. And it's a kid's coffee table book. So I just think the idea is really cool. It sits on our coffee table along with all our grown up coffee table books. And actually she does just go over and flick through it. And it's really nice and it looks nice. So it's the alphabet, but with like cut out animals and things. Like, let me show you one of the really nice pages. And it's just very like simple. G for garage. And you can like, can you kind of see, you can like feel it, it's like indented and things are either 3D or they're like sunken in. And it's just a really lovely book. Nice, a nice idea for a gift for kind of probably 18 months and up. Okay, this wine, oh my God, guys, I have to tell you about this wine. I've been holding onto this bottle for so long because I wanted to put it into this video. It's called Jam Shed. It's a red wine. It's a Malbec from Argentina. I don't know much about wine. I don't even know much about red wine because I didn't really drink it until recently, but I've started to find red wines that I really like that aren't too heavy. And this is one of them. I only know about it because my mum discovered it somehow. She asked us to add some to our Ocado order for her. So I added one for us as well. And we've kind of become a bit obsessed with it. It's so good. It says it's rich, jammy, and smooth. Like, oh my God, imagine a wine being jammy. Oh, it smells so, so good. Definitely one to see if your local supermarket has it. And these glasses, I just want to talk about them as well because they are wine glasses. They're from Firm Living. I have the normal glasses from them and I've got the wine glasses as well. They're really delicate, but they're really nice. I just much prefer this shape to a typical wine glass shape. And I just kind of find a bit, bit much and a bit like, a bit tall really. I just, I think I prefer these. And I love the, the ribbed glass. I'm really into that at the moment. I kind of wish that we got ribbed glass on our drinks cabinet doors but i'm very into ribbed glass i really like when people have it on like internal doors to bathrooms as well i think that's really smart so this is my kitchen recommendation uh jam shed wine it's seriously good okay i've also got some style things i want to show you and first up is this coat from mango which to be fair kind of looks slightly ridiculous because i'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath i'd normally be wearing like a jumper but it's a really long black wool coat how did I not have one of these before? They are just so useful to just throw on to any outfit. I feel like you can wear it casual like this with just jeans and a t-shirt, or you can make it look a bit smarter with boots. I feel like I've just been wearing this all the time. I think the one I got sold out, but I'll try and link below some kind of alternatives. I just really like the look and I like that it goes so far to the ground, like almost ankle length. Yeah, I just I really love this. Okay, next up are these trousers from Me and M, which I'm not even joking are probably the most perfect trousers ever. They are black. They kind of look like they're dark blue on camera, but they are black. Stretchy waist drawstring, really super, super soft. They're 100% cotton. There's kind of two types of cotton. It's like a really soft cotton and then almost like a bit of a tougher cotton as well. 
So they've got these big pockets, which I think are really flattering. And then it's just like a loose straight leg trouser that just rolls up at the bottom. So they're not tight on the bottom like joggers. And that's what I really like about them. Let me try them on and show them to you. They are just so comfortable, it's unreal. So this is what I mean, big pocket on the side. And then they're kind of just like straight down. I mean, it's kind of hard to show you guys, especially at a flattering angle, but take my word for it. These are just like the best trousers. I'm always on the hunt for things that aren't jeans that don't necessarily look like joggers. And this is them. I also really like it when things, Okay, not with this t-shirt, but imagine I'm wearing like a baggy shirt and then you've got straight leg trousers coming out the bottom. I really like that look as well. Right, I think that is it for all of my kind of current recent favourites. As I said, I'll link all of my TV favourites down below in the description box. Did this video feel a little bit snappier and what did you think of it? I'm kind of, I'm kind of falling out of love a bit with like really long form YouTube content. But then I get that reels are sometimes too snappy for some people. This maybe is like something in between, like a kind of shorter, snappier YouTube video. It means that you can watch more videos in one go, I guess. I think I enjoyed filming it more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I hope you're all doing really well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.